Sometimes you can find melodies outside of music. Uh, and composers have been doing this for centuries as well. They've been finding uh, melody in um, everyday life. And it's kind of cool, actually, when it happens. Um, there are all kinds of sources of melodies around you. People have notated melodies of train uh, clanking noises going by, big machines, all kinds of industrial stuff. But also, and probably more common, is nature-based things. Um, there are a ton of composers who have used the sound of birds. And so I'm not advocating just like go out and listen to some birds and use it for a melody. But what I'm the point I'm trying to get across here is listen for melody around you in, in nature, in machines, in anything you can find around. If you're interested in the bird song stuff, well, first, let's check this out. Uh, this is just a website I found where this person is compiling bird songs. Uh, I kind of like what they've done here. So here's the actual song. Okay, kind of hard to hear. Here that is in played on a piano. Okay, kind of messy. But this is what's interesting to me. Here's the song at half speed. And here's that played on piano. Right? That's kind of interesting. You could use that. So there are all kinds of books and things like that on people that have notated different bird songs around the world. Uh, so check them out. Um, if that is interesting to you and, you know, you could tie that into the program of a piece if you're doing a program music kind of thing. Um, it's very doable and uh, popular to do. It's a good idea. So if it makes sense to have birds in the story of your piece then use some bird songs. It's great, right? Um, so check that out. There, you can play around with these melodies that you get from birds and you might end up with something interesting, right? If you want more information on this, check out um, a couple of composers that come to mind that have done a lot with bird songs is um, Oliver Messiaen has done a lot with birds. Um, Bartok, Bella Bartok did quite a bit. Even more so, his sometimes colleague, Kodai. What is Kodai's first name? Anton? Something like that? Kodai is spelled K-O-D-A-L-Y. Um, they did a lot with Birdsong. Those are the two that come to mind off the top of my head. So check that out. Um, it's really interesting stuff, and it's a really cool idea for ways to come up with melody. So check it out. It's fun stuff.